There are lies and very, very bad advice that is being put out there on the internet. And actually some are even paying for ads to get it in front of people like you that want to be successful on Etsy. And this actually came to my attention as I was scrolling one day on Instagram, which I don't usually go on Instagram. Just, just want to let you know, I'm not a social media person really, but I do go on there. I don't know, maybe every three days and I'll go and see if my kids sent me anything funny. It's basically what I do. But then as I was scrolling, I saw an ad pop in and I know who this person is. I'm not going to call this person out, but basically she was saying, if you are focusing on one niche in your Etsy shop, you're going to fail. It's the wrong way to do it. And I was like, this person is paying an ad to get in front of more people. And the reason why this person is doing this is because they also sell a very expensive course and they want to start getting people in their marketing funnel. I know all about that. I've been in this world for a long time as far as the marketing world, and I understand how it works. So I understand what they're doing. The problem that I have with it is that the direction that you're leading someone to or the, the path that you're putting someone on is pretty much going to be a very, very risky and probably going to end in failure. And here's why. Let me, let me explain why. If you are starting a business, I don't care if it's on Etsy. I don't care if it's on Amazon. I don't care if it's on Shopify. If you're starting a business in general and you cannot sell someone more than one product or have someone come back to buy more in the future, it is going to be almost impossible for you to withstand that. Okay. For you to be able to make it work. Because what's going to happen is you're just going to be constantly trying to find new customers, right? It's like every single time that you want to grow your business, you just got to go find new people, right? New people. And so don't focus on a niche, just focus on a trend, right? Maybe it's something that's coming out and sometimes, and I don't know if this person's doing it, but I've, I've seen it where they'll tell people to go after like popular movies or, uh, you know, popular shows or something that's trending or Taylor Swift and her, you know, her tour that she's doing, like you see it all over the place. No, like we don't want to do that. Now I'm not going to go down that road, but I am going to go down the road of why I think it's really, really bad advice to give someone to say, don't focus on one niche. You want to be able to go after all the niches that you want to go after because it's going to give you more reach to the entire world. The problem with that is you cannot build a business doing that. At least I don't think you can. All right. And I haven't seen anybody successful really doing that other than if you have a shop along the boardwalk near a beach and you're a t-shirt shop. Yeah. You're going to have people come in there and you got a steady flow of traffic. You're going to be selling stuff. I get that. That's not what we're doing here on Etsy. People on Etsy are looking for gifts. Usually they're, they're, they're looking for personalization. They're, they're looking for all of that stuff, right? They also are wanting to come back to people that they know, like, and trust, right? Josh Silverman just came out with his making Etsy human again, right? It's where now all of a sudden he didn't say Etsy. He said, he said commerce basically where now it's like, we want to be human again. We want to create not handmade, but kind of handmade still like we used to, because that's what we want our look and feel and, and our customers to, to feel like, but all you're going to do is sell one-off items. Here's why that's a bad idea. If I'm spending money, okay, which a lot of people, and that's another thing, right? This person may or may not, I don't know. I didn't go through their training, but it's like, oh, you don't have to spend any money to get started. That's not true. If you want to actually compete in the Etsy ecosystem, right? In that marketplace, you are going to have to spend some upfront Etsy ad money, in my opinion, or you're going to have to build an email list so you can get traffic there. You're going to have to spend a little bit of money. Now, I don't mean it has to be thousands. It could be a few hundred dollars, okay? But you are going to have to spend some money to get visibility. The days of you just launching products and getting visibility, they're pretty much not going to be there. Okay. Yeah. You can put up a product and you can wait six months and it might start getting shown because Etsy's going to test it in various areas. They might, 
But in order to get traction, you got to get sales. The algorithm is basically being driven by sales. Okay. <clears throat> so we have to do that. If we want to get more sales, we also want to be able to have repeat customers of people. So that are coming through that are looking for a certain thing. So if we are catering to people that are having a baby, right? And now we can, we can market to the mom. We can also market to people that are going to, going to be buying gifts for people that are having a baby shower, right? And then the nursery and all of those different components. Etsy just rolled out their little bundle feature now where they, you can add up to three products. Okay. So you're adding these products to bundle. Why are we doing that? Because Etsy wants you to build a brand. That's words out of their mouth. Okay. You don't build a brand in random niches. That's just all over the place. Unless you're just going to be like everyone else. You're just a gift shop, right? Like how many gift shops can we have? Okay. So when we focus on one niche, we're able to now Number one, focus on creating products for that one person, that one type of person. Once we get that one sale or they get someone to come in to buy something, now we're able to also show them more things as they come into our shop. Or if they come into a listing, now if we turn on our bundle feature, they're going to say, oh, this product goes with this product. Maybe I want to add that. All you got to do is just check a box, add it to your order. Okay, that's it. So now we're able to increase the order size. Wouldn't you rather sell more to one customer than to have to go find five more customers? I would. Let me know in the comments. Would you rather have one customer that you could sell to now, maybe three products and then sell something in six months and 12 months in a year and a half? Like, wouldn't you rather do that? Let me know in the comments. Okay. Because that's how you build a real business. And a lot of these Etsy gurus out there, some are good but some are just giving bad advice. They have not built an e-commerce business. They don't understand what it is to build an e-commerce business. I have, I've built, I've built several, I've sold one. So I understand what it takes. If you ever watch Shark Tank, what do they always say? What's it, what's your cost to acquire a customer? That's what they want to know because they know you have to usually spend money to acquire the customer. And then once you have the customer, now you can sell them more things. Okay. So I just wanted to do this video today to number one, bring light to this because if you're new on Etsy or even an Etsy seller that's been doing it, but just been led down that road, the reason why you're probably not succeeding is because you're going after too many niches and you're just trying to chase trends. To date right now, we've done 30 Etsy shop audits where we've helped these 30 sellers. And I would say at least half of those were focusing on all over the place with different niches. And we were able to drill in and find niches that they can go into and sub niches that they can also build off of because it's so important to be able to do that. All right. And everything aligns it. Another thing that we do is we build an email list. Okay. And you're probably wondering, well, Scott, you can't do that. I mean, they, Etsy says you can't, you can, you just have to get permission from the person. So when you now sell something to that person, you have a welcome message and a confirmation, a confirmation message that goes out. In that message, you would invite them to join your VIP club. And then you would then send a link to that person or they would go through that link and then they would sign up. You can set this all up in Everbee email, by the way. If you want to go check that out, you can go to brandcreators.com forward slash Everbee. All right, go there, get set up, create one of those pages where you can collect the email address. And then you would just use that in your message that you reach out to people when they buy from you. And then you invite them. And then as long as they put their name and email address in there and hit yes, they've raised their hand and said, yes, you can send me stuff. And we've done over $10,000 in email sales, by the way, since they rolled out the share and save link, which is why I know that they want us to send email. They want us to send our own traffic. Okay. Because they rolled that feature out as well. Why? Because they want us to keep getting people back to the platform so we can sell them more about what they came in on. All right. So, oh. When people are advertising and this person is paying probably a thousand dollars plus a month to reach people and to get this message in front of people, it just, ugh, it, it gets under my skin because it's leading people down the wrong road and the road is to failure. And I just wanted to share this today with you to hopefully help you. Um, we do have a guide that walks you through our methodology on how we build a brand. 
Um, I call it the 100 K roadmap. It's the one that my wife and I have used and we kind of reverse engineered what we did on Etsy. If you want that, just put 100 K in the comments and we'll send you a copy. And it talks about finding your niche and then building off of your niche and then build, you know, building it for, uh, you know, repeat sales, email lists, like all of that stuff is included. So if you want that, just put 100 K in the comments and we'll send you a copy of that. But I really, really just wanted to get this out there. And I really, really want you to win at this Etsy game because it is pretty awesome. It's pretty cool, but there's also a lot of information out there that is just leading people down the wrong road. And I wanted to try to help you with that and help you avoid that road. That's probably going to lead to failure.